In this video, we'll be going over how to activate and enable your device to use the Flex Mobile app, which allows for two-way communication with your patients from outside of the office, as well as viewing, creating, and editing appointments on your open dental schedule through the app directly as well. Our first step is gonna be logging into Flex as an administrative user. You'll know if you're on an administrative user account, if you have the settings icon on the top left of your page here. If so, proceed to clicking on the settings icon and then navigating to the right part of the page and click on the Flex Mobile tab. From this page, we'll be able to add a device, see our full list of devices that already have Flex Mobile enabled, and configure devices, whether that's enabling or disabling the texting feature, setting up a notification schedule, enabling or disabling the schedule access, which is in regards to your appointments in Open Dental, and then enabling or disabling specific operatories under the operatories allowed setting here as well. For the sake of this video, I want to inform you that you can use this Flex Mobile app on the Google Play Store with Android OS or on the App Store with any Apple devices as well. The first step to adding a device is clicking the Add New Device button. And you'll get a pop-up with a QR code. It does state that you first need to download the Flex Mobile app to your phone. And after opening the app, point the camera at the QR code below when instructed. If you do not scan this code, the app will not be able to access any data. Each code can only be generated once. If you need to repeat this process, simply delete any unneeded devices and start again. Now that we're ready to set up the Flex Mobile app on our mobile device, let us look at the screen on the mobile device itself and see how to set it up on that end. Once you open up your Flex Mobile app, you'll want to click Scan QR Code. Once you select this button, you want to point your camera of your phone directly at the QR code on Flex on the computer, and it'll ask you to create a four-digit code for the purposes of this video, we'll use 1111. Confirm the code a second time. And then the third is to log into the app. And you'll now notice I can now view my Open Dental schedule. However, I can only see one operatory. If I click on the top right, the operatories only show Dr. Brian Elbert currently. And we'll show you how to fix this on the PC side of things when we head back over to Flux. Let's do that now. Once we click Continue, when we have already scanned the QR code on our Flex Mobile app on our mobile device. The next pop-up is this. It says, give this device a recognizable name, like Dr. Miller's iPhone. This will help you identify which device you're looking for and if you need to make any changes later. So if you have a longer list with all your staff members' mobile devices, these unique IDs here or the names are gonna be very important in case you ever wanna configure the phone specifically. Maybe you wanna to toggle on or off the texting, scheduling access, uh, or the notification schedule you want to be different, you want to make sure you're adjusting the right phone. So here we'll do test for a video and hit continue. So should this device be able to send and receive text messages? If click yes, the texting enabled be on. You'll hit yes. And you'll see here the test for a video, texting enabled is on. You'll have your notification schedule next. The shaded area is the time each day that you would like this device to receive push notifications. So how it's set up right now, my practice is open eight to five. So by default, I don't need to have push notifications going to my phone because I'll already be in the office. But if I wanted to adjust this, maybe I only wanted to be notified um, from 6 a.m. to five, maybe my practice opens at six. Um, you simply just adjust these sliders from the left to right. And you could do so individually, they do not need to be uniform. And you can set it where you don't want to be notified at all. Or you can set it where you want to be notified all day and so forth. Once you hit the X, just make sure you always hit save settings if you've ever changed any of these settings. The next is the schedule access. That's just a simple toggle on or off. And most importantly here is gonna be the operatories allowed. You wanna make sure you click on this. By default, the first operatory will be the one enabled. You just need to simply allow the other operatories to be enabled here. Now that we've enabled all the operatories for our Flex Mobile app device, make sure we click the X, click save settings, and let's look at our Flex Mobile app now on our mobile phone and see if those operatories have changed. Once we close out of our app on our phone and reopen it, the changes will be live and we'll still see here only one operatory is showing. That's because on the top right, we'll still have to enable the operatories with the check boxes here to customize our view. Once we select each of the five operatories, we'll now see that we have three appointments instead of one and they're color coordinated to their operatory color as well. If we select an existing appointment, It'll expand, showing us more detail. 
And if we hold our finger on an existing appointment, an edit prompt will come up showing this window here. You can adjust the start time, the length of the appointment, the operatory the appointment belongs to, as well as the provider associated with that appointment, and a, a note for the appointment as well. And you'll notice once we change this to Bruce, it actually color coordinated to this blue color for his column and operatory as well. And now that appointment is on the bottom right as Bruce is our farthest right column in our open dental. Let's say we want to add an appointment. If we hold our finger down in any empty space on the calendar, the same window will appear, but this time we can attach an, a patient here. We'll use our test patient, test test, and the same uh, amount of options are here as well. So you can associate a note, starting time, duration of the appointment, the operatory, as well as the provider associated. And once you click add, you'll notice that the appointment is now on the top left here, color coordinated to the operatory again. Clicking on it will expand to view the details that we just created. And lastly, if we click on the SMS button or the texting on the bottom left, we'll be able to see our recent messages and all of our unread.